Hello, Marjorie Backavoy here. Welcome to my new series, On the Couch with Marjorie, uh, when I uh, interview several stars from the current tour of The Producers, uh, which is touring the UK and Ireland. And um, yes, well, this is the first one of the series, so I'm rather excited about it. I do hope you'll stay with me for the rest of the series. The first one is all with Louis Spence. Here I am on the couch with Marjorie McAvoy. I'm with the renowned choreographer, dancer and homosexual Louis Spence. Oh, I do love the title. Thank you, Marjorie. Now, the other thing we have to talk about, of course, is your vocal coaching. Yes, yes. Because I've been quite instrumental, haven't I? With my vocal skills, With yeah. your vocals, because let's face it, your voice, it's quite high. Yeah, well, it was... It I've was, managed to bring out the bottom in you, haven't I? You, you certainly I have. have. It was up there, and you certainly have brought out my bottom tone. Yes. Now, the thing is, Louis, I know we've been working very hard on your vocals, and um, I've had a little word with my friend Andy, Lord... Lloyd, Lord, Lloyd. Oh, the Lord Lloyd Webb. Lord Webb. Lloyd Webb. Yeah. Well, I've managed to get you a private audition for his next musical. Oh. It's going to be called, it's a musical version of a, a well known film. It's called Love Never Die Hard. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds bad. I think you'd be perfect. I like, I like, I mean, Love Never Dies has been there, hasn't it? But not with the hard on the end. A hard on the end is always a good thing. I think That's I, what I say. I think that could be perfect casting. And you do look a little bit like Bruce Willis. I, yeah, you well, look, like, you know, yeah. In I mean, the right lighting. I've got the right look, haven't I? It's like, I think it's the hair. I think so too, And darling. also, I mean, the masculinity. Well, obviously, obviously. Anyway, I've had a word with him. He right. wants to see you next Tuesday. Great, next Tuesday. See, so, see, see you next Tuesday. We're going to carry on working on Defying Gravity. Defying Gravity, I think that's right, because I have learned that my vocal range is just immense. Well, and you do defy gravity in yes, life, don't you? Yes, I do. No, yeah. You're so right, yes. I think it's a perfect song for me. Defying Gravity. Oh, sing through the penis, sing through the penis. Remember what I said? Uh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, yes. Gravity. You see, I just can't tell you the change in you, Louis. The change is such a short so time. I know. Well. I mean, you know, the, you're, you're my maestro. You're Would you recommend me as a vocal oh, coach? Oh, absolutely, darling. I'd recommend you to anybody who's in West, you know, or going up West. Yes. You know. Will you do a testimonial for me? Yeah, of course. I, oh, you know, thank anyone you. who struggled with their vocal skills, you know, I just had to find mine. It wasn't that I was struggling, I had to find it. And somehow you dig deep. You I dig, dig deep, you. don't I? You do dig yes, deep. Yes, I and do. And you found my bottom. I did, and I'm so pleased, Louise. Yes, thank you. And I'd just like to say, you know, if anyone wants to get their bottom found, then they should definitely come to Marjorie. Marjorie's the woman. Bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, Louis, you're leaving the producers now. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, it's been fun. And, um, yeah, I think that I'm, I'm ready to leave because I knew it was my time to leave. But I'm yeah. sad to leave and leave everybody because everyone's been so fantastic. Yeah.